On today's episode, we talk about seven things you should prepare for to be successful when you quit playing video games. And I share details about how you can support the Game Quitters mission. Hey, what's up guys? Cam here, and today I'm coming at you from Vancouver, BC. I got back to Vancouver a couple weeks ago after having to cut my West Coast trip short, and it was sunny today, which is not actually very common here in Vancouver during these fall and winter months. So I thought I'd get outside and shoot you guys an extra video this week. So I hope you like it. And this week's video is all about seven things that you should prepare for if you wanna be successful when you quit playing video games. And the reason I think this is important is that when you quit playing games, this is an emotional experience you're going to have. And because of that, our emotions can have a very high degree of influence in our behavior. So if you're not prepared for it, if you're not prepared for these seven different things that happen, you're going to be more influenced by your emotions, which means that you could end up relapsing or just struggling a lot and having a really tough time. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you'll see that I constantly talk about preparation and setting yourself up for success. It's something that I really believe in. And so these are seven different ways that you can prepare and the reason why you want to focus on them is that in life certain things are going to happen that are predictable certain things are going to happen that you know they're going to happen they're inevitable especially when you go to quit playing video games and if you prepare beforehand then you're not surprised and these events don't have such a high degree of influence on your situation so if you don't want to be surprised then you want to prepare beforehand and Today I'm just gonna share seven of the ways. I think there are many others, and maybe I'll do those in a video in the future, but today I'm just gonna share seven of them. And after I share the seven, I'm gonna share three steps you can take each and every day that will help you keep moving forward even if you're experiencing one of these events. Okay, so the first thing you wanna prepare for is that you're going to have tough days. Not every single day is going to be easy. Now you will have easy days as well, but you're gonna have tough days and that's okay. This experience for you is a new beginning. It's a new chapter and you don't have to focus so much on having to have a good day every single day. You're gonna have tough days and that's okay. Just like you're gonna have easy days. They're going to shift over time. Which brings me to the second thing you wanna prepare for and that's that your experience is going to be like a wave. Some days will be easy, some days will be hard, some weeks will be easy, some weeks will be hard. These things are dynamic. Your experience is dynamic. It's going to shift and you want to be prepared for that. So just like sometimes your emotions can come in and it can get really intense, just know that just as much as it came in, it will also go out and you don't need to identify too much with your present moment experience and you can expect and have some faith that tomorrow, next week, next month, things will improve if you focus on taking the right action, which I share a lot in these videos. I share in Respawn. I share emails and comments if you reach out. There are concrete steps you can take that will really improve your experience moving on from games. So take the right action. The third thing you might experience is that Although we talk about how you want to focus on the 90 day detox, this might take more time for you to recover. So if you've just quit, you're a couple days in, you're a couple weeks in and you're struggling, it's okay. It might take some more time, but again, have faith. The fourth thing you want to prepare for is urges and cravings. This is a completely normal part of your experience. And depending on how intense you were with your gaming, your urges and cravings will probably match that intensity. So if you played a lot and you played a lot all the time, you'll probably experience more urges and cravings than someone who wasn't as intense. But what you want to know is urges and cravings are normal. I have a video you can check out that will help you deal with those. And if you're experiencing urges and cravings, it's a sign that you need to go through this process. It's a sign that your body and your brain really like games. And that's not necessarily the most healthy thing. 
So if you're experiencing urges and cravings, it's actually validation that you're doing the right thing by moving on from games and taking some time off. It's a really important process and that's an important mindset for you to have. The fifth thing that you wanna be prepared for is that your gamer friends may not understand why you're moving on from games and they may not support you. This again is completely normal and I have a video on what you can do about your gamer friends that you can watch that will help you out. But your gamer friends may not understand. Some may even get upset with you, but what you need to know is that's okay. When you go to quit playing games, it can polarize your friends. Now, everyone wants everyone to like them. And even when I quit, I lost some of my friends. That sucks, but it's okay because you're moving on to a new chapter in your life. And because of that, you'll make some new friends as well. So you don't need to be surprised if some of your friends don't understand what you're doing or support you because again, that's normal. And lastly, you will probably be bored. There's going to be times during this process that you're tired, you're at home, and you don't know what to do and you're bored. That's again, a completely normal part of this process. In fact, depending on again, how much you gamed, you could be experiencing boredom just because your brain is accustomed to how much it likes gaming and the stimulation you get from it. And because of that, you'll actually find other activities to be boring in comparison. So that's again, a completely normal experience. But if you follow the steps that I outline here in a minute, it will really help you deal with this boredom and hopefully not experience it as much because when you get bored, you're gonna want a game. So you need to prepare for what happens when you experience boredom ahead of time so that when you do, you're able to influence your actions and align them accordingly instead of being influenced by them and thus wanting to game. Finally, number seven, you may even relapse. Relapse is something that is a natural part of the addiction process. And what's really important is that you prepare for what you're gonna do if it does happen, because it's not so much that relapse has to be a bad thing and you can watch my video on what to do if you relapse, but most importantly, that you bounce back quickly and you learn from it because relapse can actually teach us a lot about why it happened and that we can take to be more successful in the future. So to quickly recap the seven things you need to prepare for. First, you're gonna have tough days, you're gonna have easy days, that's okay, that's normal. Second, things are going to be a wave. They're going to come and go, they're going to change. That can be each day, each hour, each week, each month. They're dynamic, they're going to change, and that's normal. The third thing you wanna be prepared for is that it might take you longer to recover than you initially thought. That's okay. Fourth, you might experience urges and cravings. Again, this is completely normal. The fifth thing is that your gamer friends may or may not support you and your decision to quit playing games. That's okay, either way, you have to take care of yourself first and let your friends do what they do as well. Number six, you're probably going to experience boredom. That's normal, in fact, depending on how much you gamed, you could experience a lot of it. Boredom is a natural part of this process and learning to be okay with that and to be able to shift your actions, even if you're feeling bored, is really important for you moving forward. So you might be bored, that's okay. And finally, you may even relapse. And I have a video on what to do if you relapse that you can check out, but if you relapse, it's not the end of the world. The most important thing is that you learn from it and you bounce back. Okay, so those are the seven things that you wanna be prepared for. You want to make sure that none of those surprise you if they happen during your experience. Now, success is where preparation meets opportunity. So by being prepared for each of these ahead of time and knowing exactly how to respond, which I'll detail next in the three steps that you should take, by being prepared, that allows you to be more successful when the opportunity presents itself. So in order to do that, there are three steps you wanna take each day. And the first step you wanna take is focus one day at a time. You just have to win each day. Every single day, your goal is to just not play video games. That's it, so win the day. And in order to do that, you wanna start your day strong 
and focus on the finish. Have a morning routine. Have a way that you start your day every single day where you get your momentum going. That momentum will carry yourself throughout the day and regardless of how the day goes, make sure that you try and finish strong. Finish on a high note, go to bed, proud of yourself that you got through the day, even if it was really tough. The next step you wanna take is to be intentional in choosing new activities. This intention, this consciousness that you have about these new activities is the most important thing because if you're able to stay busy, it's a lot easier to not get caught up in these different events. If you're busy, you won't be bored. If you're bored, you'll wanna play games. So the key is to stay busy. And if you need ideas, check out 60 plus new hobby ideas and the link to download that is below. The third step you wanna take is to start a daily journal. Writing is really important to reflect and to clarify your thoughts and especially to process these different emotions that you're experiencing. Start a daily journal and in doing so, you'll be able to get support from other members of the forum and they'll be able to help you out each and every day. And I also respond to a lot of these journals as well. So starting a daily journal is a really great exercise, a great habit to develop right now, which will help you be more successful moving on from video games. To recap, one day at a time. Start strong and focus on the finish. Next, intentionally choose new activities. Download 60 plus new hobby ideas if you need ideas. And finally, have a daily journal. Engage with the community and get their support as well. Being able to reflect every day is a really great way to process your emotions and journal about the experience. It makes a huge difference, trust me. So I hope that helped you guys out. If it does, make sure you guys hit thumbs up to help other people find this video. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and I'm super stoked about that. So if you're lurking and you haven't subscribed yet, help a brother out, hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you guys leave a comment. Which one of these events seems to give you the most trouble? Leave that in comments and I'll respond. I respond to every comment and I'll help you guys out. Finally, if you guys wanna support the channel, if you guys wanna support this movement of game quitters, then I'd love for you to pledge on Patreon. Some of you guys had asked me how you guys could, could donate and help out, and so I set that page up. It all makes a difference, every dollar adds up, and this is a huge passion of mine, and I really wanna blow this up and help so many other gamers around the world get the help they need. So if you could help us out, that would make a huge difference, and I really, really do appreciate it. In the coming weeks, I have a ton of cool things planned for you guys, like the new version of Respawn that includes a bunch of cool videos. I also have a course coming up about habit building and a course on social skills. If you wanna get those courses all for free, all you have to do is join the $20 a month pledge and you'll have all that access. So check that out and let me know if I can help you guys out in any other way. I'm doing this for you guys. I love doing what I'm doing and I really appreciate you being a part of the community. So hope you guys are having a great week and I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.